1v1 pet article, ghost horse business oriented little green plum versus iron tree blossoming bamboo horse boss that was a day when Lulu was in a state of panic, yet full of dog blood. At the scene of the rape, the young bamboo horse CEO was suddenly discovered. It turned out that being betrayed by the scumbag Green and being confessed by the bamboo horse could be on the same day she didn't have much rhythm disrupted by Song Yixuan's infidelity, but Shen Yi's deep amber eyes always came to mind. Keywords of the novel Juma Ba Zong always wants to guide me without a pop dot up window, Juma Ba Zong always wants to guide me. Download the complete TXT collection, Juma Ba Zong always wants to guide me. Read my latest chapters. Chapter 1 Arrest at the scene of the rape scene and surprise the Juma Ba Zong. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Arrest at the scene of the rape scene and surprise the Juma Ba Zong the night in Shanghai carries a faint chill. Today is the one dot year anniversary of Lu Yonian and Song Yixuan. It was also the first day of Lu Yonian's return after ten years of absence from Shanghai. Lu Yonian has just switched to a pure desire style that Song Yixuan likes, but she usually refuses to try. She is wearing a coffee-colored streamlined shirt and a high-set black small buttock skirt. Just this kind of outfit further accentuates Lu Yonian's skin like condensed fat, and his waist is slender like a snake. Her already delicate features do not require any further embellishments. However, in Lu Yonian's eyes, which were as captivating as a fox, there was a hint of wolf-like coldness and wildness. Her delicacy is engraved in her bones. Later, Lu Yonian also opened the drawer and prepared to take a more aggressive cut man-colored lipstick. The sudden flash of the computer screen reminded Lu Yonian that some of the work today may not have been completed. So she also entered the computer homepage. However, Lu Yonian discovered that the source of this news was a private email that she didn't use much. She may not understand, but she never fears anything. So she also opened it. In the next moment, the picture in front of her turned her face pale. But her gaze gradually darkened. Lu Yonian never mind, and in his leisure time, he admires some attractive men and women and does indescribable things. If this male lead is not Song Yixuan, and this female lead is Qin Yu, the pure and lustful young model of online popularity, Song Yixuan really has a fondness for the pure desire style. The half body photo of the man, so naked that even his private parts were clearly visible, and the faint purple marks that seemed to be invisible. Even if Lu Yonian has never eaten pork, he has always seen pigs run away. She only felt a slight green glow on her head. Lu Yonian pulled the email content to the bottom. She only saw. Xiaoguang First Class Hotel, Presidential Suite 859, not seen but not seen. There is also a provocative ghost face. Song Yixuan has always been known for not showing off his beauty and not leaking water. He still has some sincerity towards Lu Yonian, the woman he has not yet acquired. Song Yixuan wouldn't do such a foolish thing. This email is the heart of Sima Zhao, and everyone knows it. Since Qin, you, and you dare to send war letters. Isn't it very cowardly that she doesn't go, Lu Yonian? Lu Yonian didn't expect such an interesting thing to happen to her as soon as she returned to this city. Lu Yonian once drove the motorcycle very fast and soon arrived at the hotel entrance. Miss, you can't go up directly. So is it okay now? As Lu Yonian spoke, he took out a card. The gilded card is very low dot key, but with an antique pattern and a simple shin character on it. When Lu Yonian came in, he saw a condensed version of the shin character next to the hotel logo. She has some information about the actual controlling shareholder of this hotel. The black gold card that Lu Yonian took out was exactly the birthday gift Shen Yi gave her ten years ago. At that time, the youth only said. With this thing, you can walk horizontally in any enterprise of the Shen family. The hotel girl suddenly fell silent. The woman in front of me actually has a black gold card. 
the Shin family has issued a total of five out-of-print VIP cards. In the 859 presidential suite, the charming scent of men and women permeates the air, mixed with a few faint fragrances. Brother, what should I do if my sister discovers us like this? Qin Yu covered up a bit of pride and pretended to be shy as he spoke. What are you afraid of? If you're caught, my brother will give you a title. Song Yixuan took advantage of the situation and took on this conversation. After all, he never thought he would be discovered. Okay, brother, we need to make a deal. As long as you make my brother feel comfortable, you just want my brother's life and I'll give it to you. Song Yixuan enjoyed the feeling of being pleased by the little woman. His enjoyment in that second was like that of a pampered prostitute. The woman from Lu Yonian is like a difficult lion to tame to him. Song Yixuan has never tried such a woman before. So he also has enough patience to hold it in his hand. Lu Yonian entered the 859 gate smoothly and unobstructed. She only used a few tenths of her strength. With a loud bang, Lu Yonian quickly opened the door with violence. Song Yixuan in the room was originally in a superior position. He listened to the panting of Qin Yu and Yu Yu, his eyes slightly closed. Song Yixuan was in a very ethereal state. And the next second, he only heard the noise of breaking into the door. His darkness tightened and softened, and he lost interest. What kind of security is this presidential suite? Brother. Qin Yu Yu knew that Lu Yonian would definitely come. But she saw this woman with a very strong aura. In her heart, there was still a fear. Although Song Yixuan himself was not Qin Yuyu's first choice. But the advantage lies in being young, and the Song family is indeed quite good. Qin Yuyu looked at Song Yixuan as if seeking help. Song Yixuan, you are really talented. Lu Yonian's already cold eyebrows and eyes were tinged with several layers of coldness. At that moment, she was like a condescending queen, looking down on the lowly people. Every year, listen to me explain. Song Yixuan now has countless CNMs surging in his heart. He began hastily putting on his clothes. On the one hand, he looked at this extraordinary year of land flow. Song Yixuan's body miraculously reacted. On the other hand, he was thinking about how to explain it. Qin Yu and Yu saw Song Yixuan's displeased appearance, and felt contemptuous in his heart. But she didn't want to let this man go, so she wanted to add another flame. Sister, don't blame your brother, it's all my fault. Song Yixuan glared fiercely at Qin Yu Yu. This woman is really just a troublemaker. I don't know anything else, but adding fire comes quickly. We broke up, Song Yixuan. Give me a chance year after year. What do you have to say now? If I remember correctly, today is our first anniversary, are you here? You're always like this, like a judge, as if everyone in the world wants to listen to you. Song Yixuan was originally at fault. But at this moment, he also had an outlet for his past dominance towards Lu Yunyan. He became angry with embarrassment and quickly found the opportunity to start beating around the bush. I really enjoyed watching this play. Shen Yi's untimely voice rang out. Everyone was stunned. It's none of your business, Shen Xiao. Song Yixuan felt a sense of shame when he saw Shen Yi, an outsider, watching a joke in front of him. So he also choked back. Lu Yonian looked up at Shen Yi. The once cold youth now had a bit more domineering. The only thing that was completely the same was that his amber eyes were still so deep that it was difficult to see his thoughts clearly. In her eyes, countless thoughts flashed through countless twists and turns. Shen Yi, her childhood sweetheart, is now firmly holding the position of CEO of the Shen family. Lu Yonian had not had a chance to reminisce with him, but he had already met. She just didn't expect that the background of their reunion would be such a shameful scene of raping. Lu Yonian is about to leave, just like the protagonist in the story is not her at all. Shen Yi still caught the fleeting desolation in Lu Yonian's eyes. Her eyes are very beautiful, 
as if she can speak. Lu Lionyan's figure has always been very good, and he is not too conceited compared to countless professionals. Shani thought of his youth when that ghost girl also had those eyes. Lu Lionyan really hopes that Shani won't recognize him. In that moment, there was an almost imperceptible panic in her eyes. Shani saw that Lu Lionyan had already left, and when he left, he just let out a cold snort and slowly followed suit. At that moment, Song Yixuan's mind was very confused. How did he discover that all he had in his mind were years of land flow? Why did you suddenly discover it? So he didn't pay attention to this detail of Shen Yi and Lu Yunyan's relationship. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Before Mr. Ba confesses, love is cut in half. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Before Mr. Ba confesses, love is cut in half this couple is really top.notch. Although Shen Yi didn't watch all of this big scene, he felt comfortable watching it. And this woman, surprisingly, was completely calm. There was no other meaning on her face. The feeling that Lu Yunyan gives people seems to be hidden deep enough. That's really fascinating. Previously, Shen Yi only looked at the back of Lu Yunyan and knew that he was definitely a beautiful embryo. At least among the people he has met, they are top dot notch. Shen Yi lifted his eyes slightly. All eyes seem to be focused on the woman. Lu Yunyan seems to have a very magical infectiousness and attraction. At the beginning, Shen Yi felt that this woman was too magical. How magical was she? All of this was under her control from the beginning. She always stands tall, like a peacock and a phoenix, never having a dull day. So when Lu Yunyan turned around, when Shen Yi saw that face, Shen Yi only felt that there was really someone who could be described by the word devilish craftsmanship. Lulu, let's talk. Shen Yi's voice seemed to be suppressing something, but it was full of softness. Lu Yunyan's heart thumped. She was still deceiving herself, and Shen Yi may not have recognized her. It seems that this time, I wanted to escape but couldn't escape. After all, this is the first time in my life that I've been green, but I met a young bamboo horse at the crime scene. Everyone will be stunned by this plot. Shen Yi and Lu Yunyan haven't seen each other for ten years. Over the past decade, there have been significant changes in land flow years. So Lu Yunyan felt that Shen Yi couldn't recognize him and couldn't say for sure. But she heard the familiar title. There's nothing else to doubt about this, it must be recognized. She had to lower her head. This is really awkward. Okay. Lu Yunyan didn't want his embarrassing appearance to be seen by anyone. I just asked Shen Yi to take a clear look. How much did you see just now? I've seen almost everything I should have seen, but you're cool, aren't you? Lu Yunyan was confirmed, and throughout the entire process, Shen Yi was not absent. Lu Yunyan silently wiped away a cold sweat in his heart. She decided to briefly change the topic before speaking. Where are we going? Go to number one middle school, let's also go back and take a look. Shen Yi didn't expose the woman's clumsy diversion of the topic. He just thinks that Lu Yunyan is cute no matter how he looks. How can I get in now? How did we get in before? Crossing the wall. Yes. Then go in like that. Shanghai Number no. 1 Middle School, under the night, Shanghai Number no. 1 Middle School is filled with the faint fragrance of a few gardenia flowers, just like before. There are also several students hurriedly passing by with books in various corners of the campus. Shen Yi looked at a man and a woman playing in the distance, and he always remembered Lu Yunyan and himself ten years ago. Isn't this a microcosm of their past? You and I haven't seen each other for ten years. Hmm. Lulu, you still speak so little. Actually, the morning you left, I went to find you. What? I have something I want to give you. Hmm. The year of land flow is somewhat unexpected. At the age of fifteen, a young girl's emotions were pure, like a washed white shirt. 
how could there be anything else? Lu Yonian never thought about that aspect. But the meaning behind Shen Yi's words now seems too obvious. This makes it impossible for Lu Yonian to ignore the implied meaning in his words. Shenisi did not conceal the feelings of the young man. Or perhaps it's because the love of a young man is already a bright and bright color, without any hidden bias. And at that time, I always wanted to attract young girls to go wild. At that moment, Lu Yonian even felt that Shen Yi was not Shen Xiao, who had been wandering in the business world for many years. But a tall man wearing a school uniform. Lulu, you're so smart, you must know what I'm trying to say. Dot. Lu Yonian can only remain silent. After all, the span between these two things is too large, and it seems that her CPU is going to burn dry. Yesterday she seemed to be Song Yixuan's girlfriend. So today she seamlessly became Shen Yi's lost and regained Little Green Plum. There are some things that are too complicated. In other words, the gift from ten years ago, do you want me to give it to you, or do you? Shen Yi knew that what he was doing now was taking advantage of someone's situation. And it's also too easy to backfire. But he felt that as long as he was single, Lu Yonian would also be single. There should be no problem doing this. Shen Yi didn't even want to wait for a second. But you know, I haven't had a previous relationship yet. Okay, I won't force you, I just hope you get along with me like before. Okay. Is the Lu family still in their original place now? Well, you can tell auntie that mom also misses her a lot. Okay, what about you? In these ten years, there was a period of time when you were thinking about me. I thought of it, but later I got busy with my own affairs. The previous sentence is quite catchy, but the latter sentence is a bit awkward. Shani finally sent Lu Yonian back to the entrance of the Lu family. Every year, is this a little boyfriend? No, this is Shani. Upon hearing the name, Shani, Lu Mu was momentarily stunned. Is it Ah Huan's cub, Xiao Shen? They've all grown so big. Yes, auntie, it's me. It's been a long time since I last saw you. Are you okay? How's your mother doing now? It's not bad either. I often come and sit down when I have time, and I used to think about you year after year. Shen Yi looked at Lu Yonian's gaze and couldn't say he was innocent. After all, what does he like? I never conceal what I don't like. Lu Mu is also a newcomer, and Shen Yi's gaze is definitely on his lover. The fiery heat in one's eyes made one dare not underestimate it. But Lu Mu is not sure what exactly Lu Yonian thinks. So she didn't do anything either. Auntie, then I'll go back first. Okay, pay attention to safety on the way. Shen Yi has achieved everything in his goal. He also said goodbye politely. For the year of Lu Lu, he waited for ten years. Let's put in a few efforts now. Shen Yi has ample patience. After Shen Yi left, Lu Mu didn't ask anything else. They naturally have different ways of getting along with each other when they are young. That's not something the older generation can intervene in. Lu Mu also has a very clear understanding of all of this. Lu Yonian returned to his room. She always feels that her heart is difficult to calm down for a long time. Just now, if Shen Yi had to have an answer. What if he forcibly confesses? Lu Yonian has always been a calm and restrained person. But it seems that as long as she faces Shen Yi, her heart will unconsciously accelerate. This is something that never happened before. In that moment, Lu Yonian's thoughts returned to ten years ago. She recalled Shen Yi, who was a few centimeters shorter than herself at that time. And that morning, Shen Yi, who was particularly shy, said to her, Don't leave after school, wait until I have something to do. At this moment, it seems that what was said was a subtle expression of love. At that time, Lu Yonian had not yet developed a romantic relationship, so he didn't quite understand anything. It's just that when Lu Yonian passes by and faces Shen Yi, it's always magical. 
there is even an almost paranoid desire to protect bamboo horses. After all, this is called the weak little bamboo horse and the ghost horse Xiaqingmiai, which is a very strange matching role. On the way home, Shen Yi was as spirited as a rooster that was about to win. One day, he will marry the girl he has loved for ten years back home. Now it's just the first step, Lu Yunyan has finally returned to being single The mutual affection between Qin Yuyu and Song Yixuan was originally the result of his manipulation of sexual promiscuity. Shen Yi avoids long dreams at night. He naturally wanted to make all of this known to the world, leaving Song Yixuan with no room for maneuver. On the road of pursuing love, using some strategies cannot be considered any despicable. So he also took out his phone. Shen Yi used to handle many things and remained very calm. But at this moment, he is just an ordinary man addicted to love. Shen Tao, now you should notify the major newspapers to clarify the peach news of Qin Yuyu and Song Yixuan, so that the Song family can completely handle this matter. Okay, young master. Although Shen Tao didn't quite understand, why did Shen Yi do such a thing? But obeying orders is his duty as a special assistant. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 A scumbag comes to face you. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 3 A scumbag comes to face you Lu Yunyan quickly went to the subsidiary of the Lu Foundation in China. The Lu Group She is already very familiar with everything she goes to work every day. Just today, when Lu Yunyan arrived at the company, he found that everyone around him was looking at her with a strange gaze. In that gaze, there seemed to be a magical pity. Lu Yunyan couldn't figure it out. Why do everyone look at me with such magical eyes? But she still walked in. After Lu Yunyan walked in and saw Song Yixuan, she roughly understood. Her originally pretty expression suddenly darkened. What are you doing here? Every year, can you give me a chance to speak up? What are you saying when you come to my company? In Lu Yunyan's words, there is a very indifferent silence. After seeing that set of photos, she never thought about continuing this relationship. There are some things that, once dirty, have no need to continue. For matters of love, Lu Yunyan has always preferred to be lacking rather than excessive. Believe me, the timing of Qin Yu Yu's appearance is too strange. Song Yixuan suddenly realized that Qin Yu Yu, as a woman, had appeared at an inappropriate time. He is not the kind of person who reacts quickly. But this is not the first time he has done such a thing. But only the time I was with Qin Yu Yu was caught on the spot. He originally thought that as long as he used some common tricks to coax the woman in front of him, Lu Yunyan could still be easily captured by him. Are you trying to show me an enlarged spring palace picture of you and Qin Yu Yu? Lu Yunyan originally wanted to see what kind of flower the man in front of him who had been with him for a year could say. Until she saw the enlarged peach-colored picture on the entertainment newspaper sent this morning. Only then did I realize that a cat that can steal fish has no forgiveness. So Lu Yunyan just picked up the newspaper in his hand and threw it at Song Yixuan. Song Yixuan suddenly could only remain silent and stunned. He clearly stated that he wanted to intercept this information. But it seems to have no effect at all, more like it has backfired. Although he was strange, he couldn't figure it out for a while. So Song Yixuan could only temporarily sit there with his flag and drum resting. He seems to have completely failed. Song Yixuan, it seems that you are not quite clear about this matter yet. Essentially, it is an unrestrained love affair between men and women. Lu Yunyan has always been a very clear person. She can hit the nail on the head by grasping the core points. Lu Yunyan is never someone who will save face for anyone. Sometimes, as a human being, even if she doesn't care, she accounts for three points. Why should she forgive others if she does? This matter, Lu Yunyan should be said to have never done anything wrong. Lulu, do you need me to help you clean up your door? Shen Yi suddenly appeared at this moment. He just spoke lightly. 
but the detachment in the words formed a sharp contrast with Song Yixuan. No need, don't dirty your hands, Shen Yi. Song Yixuan saw Shen Yi explode like a cat with its tail stepped on. He only felt that seeing Shen Yi would remind him of the humiliation of that day. After all, he is also a magical spectator witness. Just Song Yixuan couldn't figure out why Shen Yi suddenly appeared here at this moment. He will have a particularly magical intersection with his ex-girlfriend in such an intimate form. Okay, you two used to collude early in the morning. At that time, were you also framing me? Song Yixuan's sudden reaction was either a dog jumping over the wall after the rabbit's tail was stepped on, or a self-righteous act of overturning the rake. But it has to be said that in a sense, he is still a magical truth. Lu Yonian looked at the man in front of him. She just felt that her vision was not very good before. And Lu Yonian had a feeling of being speechless, Song Yixuan was really inexplicable. Is it not his fault to blame someone else for doing anything wrong? There are some things you did wrong, so don't blame anyone else. Not everyone is like you. Lu Yonian's words did not save any face and he sharply retorted. But why did Shen Yi appear there that day? Why is he here today? What kind of relationship do you two have? I don't think you will suddenly get to know each other. At this point, Song Yixuan's logic was very clear. And at this moment, he was like a green grassland above his head. Song Yixuan has never felt this way before. He has always been the only one who green others, how can there be any reason why others green him? Who is Lu Lu? I don't need to tell you, and now what kind of identity are you? Shen Yi looked contemptuously at the foolish man in front of him. His expression was full of mockery. As the crown prince of the Shen family, he could naturally face anyone with such an expression. You two scumbags and scumbags are not good things either. Although Song Yixuan was very angry. But he also had to admit that what Shen Yi said was correct. And he has no identity. Perhaps yesterday he could question these things. But unfortunately, what happened yesterday did make him completely untenable. And all of this was like a paper bag that couldn't contain fire, as if it had suddenly been made public. Shen Tao, come on, send out all the cats and dogs, don't let this place suddenly become so noisy. Shen Yi is not usually a talkative person. But as long as this matter is related to Lu Yunyan. He doesn't mind saying a few more words. Shen Tao is also the person who only came to Shen Yi's side in the past five years. So he is not particularly familiar with this past event. He just felt that Shen Xiao was very special to the woman in front of him. Even so, this relationship is definitely extraordinary. After all, recently, Shen Yi began investigating the only daughter of the overseas conglomerate Lu family, Lu Yunyan. When Shen Yi handles many things in his daily life, he always cherishes words like gold. He never jumps out one sentence at a time. Okay. Song Yixuan was also quickly pulled out by Shen Tao. Song Yixuan felt that the shame during this period seemed to outweigh everything he had experienced in countless years. Recently, my luck may not be very good. This woman, who had never eaten anything before, had a very mysterious feeling. But now he has completely lost it, which really caught him off guard. But today is obviously not a good time anymore. What surprised him even more was that Shen Yi was clearly very interested in Lu Yunyan. Song Yixuan knew that he was completely inferior to Shen Yi. Although Song Yixuan felt that it was somewhat incorrect to completely associate everything with it. But the man's magical sixth sense also gave him some hints. After all, these two people have never been in contact before. Suddenly, it felt like someone we had known for a long time. Song Yixuan felt that these news seemed too outdated. He hid a few strands of resentment in his heart and decided to figure everything out. If Shen Yi and Lu Yonian had really been together for a long time, even if he had compensated the entire Song family, he would never have let them go. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Childhood sweethearts are easy to bump into. 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 Childhood sweethearts are easy to bump into after Song Yixuan walked out. Shen Yi also sat very obediently in Lu Yunyan's reception room. Shen Yi was as effortless as he was originally the owner of the Lu family consortium. He didn't feel embarrassed, and even considered this place his own home. Lu Yunyan also fell silent for a moment. She didn't know what to say. After all, the man in front of me is too serious. What are you doing here today? Lu Yunyan is not a very good speaker. I'm not here today to reminisce about old relationships. How to say it? At this moment, Lu Yunyan's eyelids lifted, adding a touch of interest. I came with a project today, and I think you will be very interested in it. What project? Let's hear more about it. Lu Yunyan has always been a person who is immersed in work and can give up countless emotions at present. Shen Yi saw a surge of interest in Lu Yunyan's eyes. He was fortunate to have come prepared today, which was indeed a good thing. Let's take a look. This is a project proposal from our company. I think this is very suitable for your company, and the Lu family has just entered Shanghai. Lu Yunyan has just returned from abroad. She is indeed not very clear about everything in front of her. But Lu Yunyan also knew that the Shen family was already a land like existence in Shanghai. If Shen wants to do any project, there will naturally be people following along. And Shen Yi came to find himself at this moment with a very clear purpose. Lu Yunyan remained silent for a while. She is a smart person. Lu Yunyan also knows that if accepted, the next intersection is by no means something she can casually refuse. But in the city of Shanghai, we are reopening the doors of the Lu family consortium. The temptation to succeed in this matter is too great. Lu Yunyan even felt in his heart that the uncertainty that followed seemed to be worth it. Shen Yi is very familiar with the woman in front of him. And he already knew about Lu Yunyan's interests early on. Shen Yi also knows the overall advantages of the Lu family consortium. He knew very well how to deliver the resources of the Shen family to the Lu family. And sitting idly by has never been Shen Yi's way of doing things. He is already an action oriented person. Shen Yi must maximize his interests in anything. He is very good at playing straight balls and also very good at capturing the heart of a woman who holds a significant position in his heart. Shen Yi will definitely make Lu Yunyan fall in love with him very comfortably. After all, favoritism always gradually develops in the gentleness of boiling frogs in warm water. Lu Yunyan originally just thought that if she was interested in this project and could open up the Shanghai market of the Lu Foundation, it would be worth it. She also thinks it's worth trying. But when the land flow year truly opens up this project. She even had a feeling in her heart that this project seemed tailored dot made for her. This project is completely consistent with some things I have seen abroad in the past. Moreover, many concepts perfectly align with her. Lu Yunyan couldn't help but wonder, is this project really what Shen Shi originally wanted to win? Why suddenly, as if someone was dozing off and delivering a pillow, came to find her. Does all of this really have nothing to do with Shen Yi? After all, many times there are coincidences that come too suddenly. Shen Tao watched his own family, Shen Xiao, lying with his eyes open. He not only began to have doubts once. There is no one who has done everything but still keeps it a secret. After all, this project is completely tailored for the Lu family. Shen Tao never expected that this project would be delivered so easily. Because this was handled by him alone, he was very clear about it. And now what Shen Xiao said is so light and airy. How could Miss Lu understand how much effort Shen Xiao had put into making all of this? He wants to be Shen Yi's mouthpiece. Shen Yi glared at Shen Tao and remained silent. Shen Tao lowered his head and continued to pack quails. Is this project really a coincidence? Regardless of whether this project is a coincidence or not, just tell me, do you want to do it? This sentence indeed deeply touched the heart of Lu Yunyan. 
she really can't refuse this best opportunity. In other words, this is what she has been waiting for. By leveraging their power, they entered the city of Shanghai and gradually cultivated the power of the Lu family. After all, the ecology overseas is not very good anymore. You are really holding me tightly. I really can't help but see such a good opportunity. So what about us? Happy cooperation. Lu Yunyan and Shen Yi also spoke these four words in unison. Just the next second, there was a moment of relief in the eyes between the two. They would never harm each other. At that moment of eye contact, it seemed like we were back in the past. They seem to have seen two people solving problems together while still studying at Shanghai No. 1 Middle School in that moment. At that time, they were each other's most trusted partners, and now it seems exactly the same. It seems that tacit understanding does not diminish. Ten years is not long at all, how long will the future be? Can I understand this as you're making a magical invitation? I can roughly understand it this way. Lu Yonian looked at Shen Yi. In the past, she had always regarded Shen Yi's kindness towards her as a childhood sweetheart. But at this moment, she really couldn't see through it once. What are you looking at me for? Shen Yi's gaze remained gentle. But it also adds a different kind of obscurity. Lu Lu doesn't believe him. It's nothing, I feel like you're different from ten years ago. What's different, is it really more handsome? Okay, confirmed. You're still as narcissistic as ten years ago. It's confidence, not narcissism. Shen Yi opened his mouth and started joking here. When Lu Yonian went abroad, he also experienced disappointment and was afraid of losing this friend whom he had been with for a long time. After all, their relationship seemed to have broken down ten years ago. But what I didn't expect was that he seemed to be in the same place all along and never went far. Lu Yonian originally thought it was indeed quite unlucky. After all, on the day of her first anniversary, she discovered that her boyfriend had actually put on a green hat for her. No matter what you think, it's not a very lucky thing. But it was discovered that Shen Yi, this little bamboo horse, had never changed. There is even a slightly different sentiment between him and Lu Yonian. She suddenly felt like a childhood sweetheart, and this CP was also very easy to get along with. Shen Yi seems to have grown countless times in the past decade. This growth rate may have never been imagined in the past years of land flow. And the little bamboo horse that made her want to protect herself in the past is finally gone forever. I can even stand in front of Lu Yonian to shield her from the wind and rain. This contrast prompted Lu Yonian to feel a hint of disappointment and a hint of surprise. What are you thinking, suddenly stunned? Shen Yi looked at the woman in front of him. He just felt that if he could keep looking at her, it would also be a very happy thing. Shen Yi's voice is very magnetic, like a gentle subwoofer. Usually, he would never say these things so gently. So no one has ever noticed that Shen Yi's voice turned out to be so pleasant. End of this chapter Chapter 5 You are the only daughter of the legendary Lu family. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 You are the only daughter of the legendary Lu family although the Lu Foundation is a giant overseas. But in today's Shanghai city, there is not yet a very complete survival system. And because most of the people from the Lu family are newly recruited recently. So for this little Mr. Lu, he is still very unfamiliar. But Shen Yi. The crown prince of the Shen family, even if they haven't eaten pork, they have seen pigs run away. So they feel that this little Lu also has a unique personality charm. Otherwise, how could he gain the favor of Shen Shao from the Shen family? Lu Yonian also began to truly ponder, what is the relationship between Shen Yi and himself? But in the end, this incident only became a small interlude in her spare time. For a year of land flow, work is far more valuable than contemplating such unfounded relationships. And she is very important because the project she is coordinating with Shen is very important. She also needs to enter a busy state to a greater extent. 
Lu Yonian has always been an entrepreneur who entered Shanghai in the early stages of his career. Although she still has many hidden identities, she cherishes her feathers and never actively reveals her identity. But sometimes, pretending to be a pig and eating a tiger is not a bad thing. Lu Yonian was still immersed in the project proposal given to her by Shen Yi. After all, this project, whether in terms of the conditions for cooperation between both parties or the role that Lu Shi needs to play, is completely just right. This is indeed too appropriate, considering all aspects, we cannot miss it. The phone ringing the next second only made Lu Yonian frown slightly. Year after year, Dad told you that now is a good time for you to accompany Dad to a party tonight. Oh, this way, good. Lu Yonian originally thought that his mother had some health problems. But it was only when she heard her father say so that she let go of her worries. Upon hearing his daughter's affirmative answer, Lu's father also comforted Lao Huai. After all, for him, this only daughter will make the Lu family better in the future. It was soon night, Lu Yonian dressed appropriately and arrived at the address given by his father. Come, year after year, come over quickly. These are your Grandpa Shen and Grandpa Jiang. Lu Yonian was slightly taken aback. She knew about these old people. Grandpa Shen, also known as Shen Yi's grandfather. He used to be a person who used to cry for clouds and rain in this city. And Lu Yonian also roughly knew the purpose of his father's action. In the past, she didn't attend these occasions much, whether overseas or in Shanghai. Unless it is of great necessity. Now, although the power of the Lu family has not fully entered. Ten years ago, the Lu family was another wealthy family on par with the Shen family. So tonight, there are also many people coming to awesome, of course, many people are still in a wait.n.c state. But oftentimes, the Lu Foundation itself is a sign. It's just that I've just entered a new place, so I may not be able to adapt well. But as the legitimate daughter and only child of the Lu family, Lu Yonian appeared here. It will also make many old foxes who are still watching observe different wind directions. Hello Grandpa Shen. Hello Grandpa Jiang. Hey, this little girl is really good. I seem to have an impression of you. Are you Shen Yi's classmate before? Right, Grandpa Shen. That's really good. Mr. Shen's already majestic and radiant eyes narrowed slightly. At this point, there is a bit more amiability. Lu's father also heard his wife talk about the Shen family's thoughts on his daughter. Lu Fu just said, every year, she has her own ideas, so let her do everything. Don't even talk outside, hurry up and go first. Xiao Lu, are you also trying to show your daughter in front of us old guys? Of course, after all, everything will be entrusted to her in the future. Okay, this little girl is really pretty good. Lu Yonian never spoke when they spoke. Soon, it was almost eight o'clock at night. All the guests arrived in small numbers. The timing for Lu's father to see all of this is also around. He stood up slowly in the main position. It's also time for him to introduce his precious daughter to everyone. And Lu's father knew that Lu Yonian had always been very capable of handling all of this. He never feels uneasy. Father Lu just felt that it was not good to let his daughter bear so much alone at an age when she was not yet married. Welcome to this banquet hosted by Mr. Lu. Today, I would like to introduce my daughter, Lu Yonian, who has just returned from studying abroad. The future will ultimately be under the control of their young people. The whole room was in an uproar. Song Yixuan was even more shocked. He never knew the identity of Lu Yonian. He only knew before that Lu Yonian was a hegemonic presence overseas. But Song Yixuan never thought about that either. I just didn't expect that this Lu family would be a legend from the past Shanghai city. And Song Yixuan's heart was filled with regret, and he secretly made a decision in his heart. He must bring back Lu Yunyin. Everyone should still be watching, what kind of development can this Lu family become? After all, in the past, 
although the Liu family also occupied a place in Shanghai, they were a part of the Pai. But in recent years, everything has been kept overseas. And suddenly coming back, what exactly are you trying to do? Will it continue to exist in Shanghai? And now, suddenly there seems to be a complete answer. It seems that the weather is about to change. It's just that the Shen family's dominant position will never change. It is evident that Mr. Shen is still sitting in one of the main seats at this moment. Did I come late? Shen Yi himself has several meetings that are quite important. But as soon as he received the news that Lu Yonian was also going to attend, he quickly rushed over. After all, no matter what, Shen Yi still wants to support the woman she likes. Although he knew that with the prestige of the Lu family in the past, no one dared to speak much in the entire Shanghai city. But with the prestige of the Lu family itself and the ability to leverage his two choices, he is still willing to provide the latter's convenience for Lu Yunyan. Shen Yi is willing to make that gun that points and hits. So he also rushed over quickly. Lu Yunyan looked at Shen Yi. Her expression was somewhat complicated. He is far more than just a playmate from his youth. He rushed over at this moment, giving the Lu family face. And the old man of the Shen family has already come, and the crown prince of the Shen family has also come. This indicates that the Shen and Lu families themselves have a close relationship. After all, Shen Yi rarely participates in these old and new family banquets. Mr. Shen was also slightly stunned as he looked at his grandson's displeasure. He just felt that there must be a play between these two young people. Mr. Shen is very clear about what his grandson looks like. And he also knows that not speaking is already the best language. Welcome, Shen Yi. Lu Yonian has never been an ignorant woman. And she also knew that someone like Shen Yi was in charge of a busy family. It may not be easy to allocate these times. And Lu Yonian also took this kindness with him. As long as we can afford to do the same good in the future, it's nothing at all. End of this chapter Chapter 6 The Clouds and Waves at the Banquet You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 The Clouds and Waves at the Banquet In that moment, the gaze of all the participants in the banquet was focused on Shen Yi and Lu Yunyan. There seems to be something different hidden between these two people. In the past, no one knew that Shen Yi was someone who refused to eat either soft or hard. No matter whose face it is, they never give a penny. Even in private, everyone's way of addressing Shen Yi is ruthless and cold-faced. It's just that this banquet has a different taste. Shen Yi seemed to have suddenly changed his temperament. I just don't know how to start this great scene today. How will the transition take place again? Everyone is carrying a strong heart of gossip, waiting for the follow. Up. But what nobody expected was that what happened next surprised everyone. Shen Yi not only did not refuse to give face, he also nodded slightly and politely let out a soft, hmm. And this is like the original fierce tiger, folding its fangs and transforming into an obedient little cat. The overall contrast left everyone speechless suspecting whether there was a problem with their eyes or memory. Although this is just a common social phenomenon. But for Shen Yi, this was indeed a groundbreaking experience. In that moment, a beautiful curve rippled slightly on his lips. And in that second, he shone brightly like the Milky Way in the sky. Shen Yi's originally slightly sharp facial features seemed to have softened a lot at this moment. He restrained his sharpness, revealing a gentle expression in his eyes at this moment. Everyone was surprised and sighed. Did the young master of the Shen family change his personality? Shen Yi's amber eyes emitted a faint soft wave. At that moment, he seemed no longer the dominant young master of the Shen family in the mall. But just an infatuated young man pursuing a lover, his head turned blue. Xie Miao Miao originally just wanted to make soy sauce at the Lu family banquet. For her, this is just a save face for the Lu family. Or perhaps it's just for the friendship between the Xie and Lu families in the future. 
And Xie Miao Miao has always been the one chasing after Shen Yi. But what she didn't expect was not only seeing the man she had been longing for so much at this moment. And you can also see the man he misses so much, with his eyes full of thoughts and feelings of another woman. At this moment, the vastly different expression on Shen Yi's face was already the answer. Xie Miao Miao's fist clenched slightly. She just felt that something was different. But Xie Miao Miao still refused to believe it. Just because of the past, the man who was frowning at everyone was unattainable to her. So how could everything suddenly change? And liking someone, how can there be no signs? It seems that Lu Yonian himself was born out of nowhere. But she has so many different things. Xie Miao Miao would rather believe that Shen Yi is in a better mood today. What does Lu Yonian rely on if she can't get it? So Shen Yi is the one with this different posture. Xie Miao Miao wouldn't and wouldn't face the truth. Did Shen Yi really fall in love with someone else? If that's the case, Xie Miao Miao would rather that Shen Yi never likes anyone as before. Xie Miao Miao couldn't bear to see this seemingly beautiful but I dot catching scene. She can't wait to be this bad woman who destroys beauty. So Xie Miao Miao also walked up to Shen Yi. Shen Yi, can I invite you to dance a dance? Although Xie Miao Miao was well aware. She would never have any extraordinary treatment. But Xie Miao Miao still wants to give it a try. Even if moths fall into the fire and cause self-destruction, what then? She Xie Miao Miao wants to be a brave person. Sorry, I don't want to dance. Shen Yi was taken aback for a moment. In that second, there was half innocence and half indifference in his eyes. However, Shen Yi's gaze remained on Lu Yonian. He wants to see if Lu Yonian will become jealous. So Shen Yi's gaze also carried a hint of anticipation. Lu Yonian's originally calm expression seemed to have been somewhat shattered in that moment. Shen Yi felt a hint of joy in his heart, after all, it seemed as if the answer was already there. He wants to explain something. But in the end, Shen Yi only moved his mouth slightly and didn't say anything. After all, at this moment, what kind of identity should he use to explain to Lu Yonian? Lu Yonian was slightly stunned. The many gazes that were originally on her suddenly dispersed. This is Shen Yi's magical influence in this scene. During the time when Lu Yonian and Shen Yi grew up together, they had already seen the birds and swallows around him. She should have gotten used to it long ago, but she doesn't know why. When she heard Xie Miao Miao invite Shen Yi to dance this first dance, Lu Yonian felt a bit stuffy in his heart. The originally calm and flawless complexion seemed to have a slight crack. Shen Yi used to solve these things very decisively and efficiently. Even when dealing with things, he always shows no mercy. Just in this second, Shen Yi really didn't want to show his inhumane side in front of his beloved woman. So he just frowned slightly. But the long dot term high pressure in the past has really shaken people's hearts. Shen Yi is still the cold faced Yen Luo who puts immense pressure on people. This point still cannot be questioned. It's just that Shen Yi seems to be in a good mood today. So it's also a bit more polite. Xie Miao Miao's eyes darkened slightly. Although she already knew the answer, her heart was still extremely unbalanced. But at this moment, all of Shen Yi's actions can still be described as gentle. So Xie Miao Miao comforted himself like this. Just Xie Miao Miao looked at Lu Yonian in Shen Yi's eyes. Her heart was filled with endless jealousy and hatred. After all, this is a treatment she has never received before. And Xie Miao Miao had already been waiting for Shen Yi in an unknown corner, foolishly waiting for a long, long time. In the corner of the banquet, Song Yixuan's face was also full of gloom. After he truly heard the introduction of Lu Yunyin, Song Yixuan only realized that he was truly wrong in the past. Before, when he was abroad, he even looked down upon the woman in front of him. Song Yixuan always felt that with the help of the Song family, he could have better choices. But he never thought about the true identity of Lu Yunyin, which was so amazing. 
And this is also something he had been with Lu Yonian for a year in the past, but never knew about it. Why is everything hidden from me, Song Yixuan? This truly explains why Lu Yonian and Shen Yi met. In the past, the relationship between the Lu and Shen families has always been relatively good. Otherwise, Mr. Shen wouldn't have appeared at the banquet of the Lu family. Under Song Yixuan's tightly closed lips, there were clenched teeth. And he was even more convinced that the rape he and Qin Yuyu had caught must have been premeditated. Perhaps the person who planned was not Lu Yonian, but someone else. And all of this is not as simple as Song Yixuan had imagined in the past. When Song Yixuan was in a daze, he only saw Xie Miao Miao walking towards the landing year. Xie Miao Miao is a person he knows, not a good person. At that moment, he had a despicable idea in his heart. If we could make Lu Yonian difficult at this moment. So if Song Yixuan saves the United States as a hero, he can regain a city. Lu Yonian was stunned. Just now, this woman's actions made Lu Yonian know that Xie Miao Miao, this woman, definitely likes Shen Yi. What she will do next is by no means that simple. Miss Lu, can you make friends with me? Lu Yonian looked at Xie Miao Miao, who seemed to have raised eyebrows in front of him, but had no smile at all. Of course you can. Lu Yonian is not someone who doesn't know how to act recklessly. So she naturally took it easy. However, there was no unnecessary emotion in Lu Yonian's eyes. Upon seeing this, Xie Miao Miao raised his eyebrows lightly and was about to take the next step. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Red Wine Storm at Banquets You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Red Wine Storm at Banquets Lu Yonian felt a bit more cautious in his heart. But on her face, she remained calm and composed. As a key figure throughout the main banquet, Lu Yonian was the core of this event. She must maintain a calm and composed state. After all, what she symbolizes now is not only herself, but also the Lu family. Xie Miao Miao looked at Lu Yonian, who had a clear appearance in front of him, and her face was full of mockery. She really can't see what's different about Miss Lu, who was born out of nowhere. She Xie Miao Miao wants to take a look today, if Shen Yi sees the disheveled Lu Yonian. Will we still treat each other differently in the future? Miss Lu, let's have a glass of red wine together. Xie Miao Miao picked up two glasses of red wine from the tray held by the waiter. Xie Miao Miao himself has a very bright and charming appearance. At this moment, she has a different charm, if you ignore the half malice on her face. Lu Yonian looked at the wine glass held up by the woman. She is actually more relaxed and composed. She probably knows what Xie Miao Miao will do next. Although Lu Yo arrived in Shanghai at the beginning of the year. But before coming, she also had a basic understanding of the city of Shanghai. In this upper class circle, some potential things are always kept hidden for a while. Although Xie Miao Miao came from the wealthy Xie family in Shanghai. But she herself is the illegitimate daughter of a mistress, and everyone looks down on such an identity. So it's not surprising that Xie Miao Miao used some obscure tricks. And in the upper class, she always prides herself on Mrs. Shen. Xie Miao Miao has also done countless things to make others difficult. The most representative one is holding red wine and splashing over a dozen women who admire Shen Yi. Xie Miao Miao picked it up. Lu Yonian took over gracefully. Lu Yonian has never been afraid of things. She is not afraid of things, and the Lu family is not afraid of things either. This has given people a different perspective on the only precious daughter of the Lu family. After all, the smell of gunpowder between these two women is very strong. And who is more calm, whose mentality is more stable? Whoever is more likely to have the upper hand? Xie Miao Miao originally planned to sprinkle red wine on Lu Yonian's skirt. This is just like how she used to deal with other women in the past. The calm and composed demeanor of Lu Yonian also hinted that Xie Miao Miao must have kicked an iron plate this time and was destined to be defeated. 
What Xian Miao Miao didn't expect was that she would be in a very embarrassing form. Before Xian Miao Miao could take any further action, he saw Lu Yunyan leaning slightly and cleverly pushing the cup between the cups. This bottle of red wine, which should have been spilled on Lu Yunyan's body, was actually spilled on Xian Miao Miao. Xian Miao Miao could feel a hint of coldness and sticky nausea brought by the red wine sticking to the dress. At that moment, she was completely stunned. After all, Xian Miao Miao never thought of it. She wanted to calculate someone, but was actually calculated by someone else. In the past, Xian Miao Miao used this move to deal with countless women who had some thoughts about Shen Yi. And she has always tried and tried. At this moment, there was a hint of interest in Lu Yunyan's eyes. This woman is really stupid. Foolish yet unaware. These are all leftovers from playing in the year of Lu Lu. Although she never disdained dealing with anyone in such a way that would embarrass them in public. But if someone were to deal with her in such a way, Lu Yunyan would never be a quail. Oh, Miss Xie, why are you so careless? Xie Miao Miao himself knew he was guilty. At this moment, she can't argue either. So Xie Miao Miao could only swallow this mute deficiency into his stomach. Xie Miao Miao, what are you doing? Xie Changting, the half-brother of Xie Miao Miao, gave a warning glare at this never-accomplished sister. Sorry, Miss Lu, my cousin is impolite. Xie Miao Miao is most afraid of this unpredictable brother in the Xie family, so he can only remain silent. Miss Xie, if there's nothing else, you can go back and change into a new outfit first. When Shen Yi said this, he added a cold warning. Just now, between pushing and changing cups, the actions of the two people have already explained everything. Shen Yi naturally wouldn't sit idly by. After all, this concerns the woman he loves the most in his life. It's just awkward that he's not the one handling this. So Shen Yi was unable to act beyond his authority to solve all of this. But a small warning is still possible. Xie Miao Miao could only snort coldly, lift the hem of his skirt, and leave. She doesn't understand why everyone helps Lu Yunyan. However, Xie Miao Miao is still a shy person. This banquet started with her leading role and ended with an embarrassing one. Xie Miao Miao looked at Shen Yi, who was still as cold as a flower in the mountains, with some grievances. Xie Miao Miao just had a glimmer of luck. Perhaps Shen Yi wouldn't just stand idly by. And everyone present knows that Xie Miao Miao has always been chasing Shen Yi's little tail. I just didn't expect that Shen Yi not only didn't help her, but also stood on the opposite side of Xie Miao Miao. This is also slapping Xie Miao Miao's self-proclaimed Mrs. Shen face. The biased meaning in Shen Yi's words is evident. Everyone is not a fool. They naturally knew that Shen Yi had some meaning for Lu Yunyan. Just don't know what Lu Yunyan thinks. Shen Yi's eyes seem to be filled with only Lu Yunyan. Others are completely dispensable for him. He never gave anyone a single difference. Although Xie Miao Miao's heart was unbalanced, he even jumped with anger. But at this moment, the mute still eats Wang Lian, unable to express their bitterness. Although she is well aware of her behavior of, stealing chickens does not backfire and erodes rice. But Xie Miao Miao will never give up. She will never let go of the woman in front of her. Song Yixuan saw the dazzling Lu Yunyan in front of him. The sense of imbalance in his heart is getting stronger and stronger. Originally, this was still his girlfriend, Song Yixuan. Perhaps in the future, she will still be a very useful wife for him. But it seems that there is no connection with him at all. Although all of this was created by Song Yixuan himself. But he is never willing to accept it. If something bad happens next, it's really not giving me face, Mr. Lu. Father Lu looked at everyone present and his tone sank. At that moment, his aura did not converge at all. Everyone was even suffocating in that second. Father Lu originally intended to introduce his precious daughter to everyone through laughter and joy. But if someone wants to harm their daughter, then he will unleash all his sharpness, no matter who is hurt. 
Father Lu looked at Shen Yi with a gloomy and unclear expression. He knew that this kid was excellent, and he also knew that Shen Yi had some skills. But everything needs to be viewed dialectically. If there is such a relationship between the Lu and Shen families, it will become a behemoth that many aristocratic families should fear. If Shen Yi really wants to have an intersection with Lu Yunyan, Father Lu needs to take a good look. What are the drawbacks brought about by this man? Can he take good care of every year? Although Lu Fu felt that these eight characters were not a single word. But the father dot in dot law seemed to have a natural hostility towards his son dot in dot law. Everyone watched a good scene, but they didn't speak up. After all, the scene was filled with a mix of fish and dragons and a strong smell of gunpowder. And they also showed a different kind of awe towards the Lu family, who may have just arrived. This trace of awe is not only for the Lu family, who already held a very powerful power, but also for the Shen family, who had already occupied Shanghai as a local leader. End of this chapter Chapter 8 The hot wind blowing by the ear shakes the hearts. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 8 the hot wind blowing by the ear shakes the hearts Lu Yunyan naturally has a clear understanding of everything that happened today. She's just not used to Shen Yi disrupting everything in this magical way. After all, it seems that this was written in a vivid book amidst the peaceful life of Lu Yunyan. Although she knew she had an incredibly uncomfortable feeling towards this unwavering favoritism. But Lu Yunyan's inner discomfort is also very clear. This couldn't help but make her itch. In the past, Shen Yi was a childhood sweetheart of Lu Yunyan, but that was just the past. But it was already ten years ago that he stood by Lu Yunyan's side to protect her like he does now. Shen Yi gave Lu Yunyan a magical feeling that he had never changed in the past decade. But what about Lu Yunyan himself? She cannot guarantee this. Shen Yi likes Lu Yunyan too much and knows her too well. She only needs a slight frown, without any expression. Shen Yi knew exactly what Lu Yunyan was thinking. In the past, others always joked that Shen Yi was the worm in Lu Yunyan's heart. As long as Lu Yunyan pouts his buttocks, Shen Yi will know what she really wants to do. So Shen Yi walked to the side of Lu Yunyan. Using a voice that only the two of them could hear, he said softly, Did you get jealous just now? At that moment, as Shen Yi spoke, his unique scent of woody fragrance lingered in Lu Yunyan's ears. The next second, it seems that Lu Yunyan will be immersed in it. That's a bit different from Shen Yi's youthful scent with a hint of grassy sweetness. His growth seems to have become a unique temperament in him. At this moment, Lu Yunyan truly felt deeply that the little bamboo horse, which had always been behind her and needed her protection, had grown up. Even Shen Yi has turned passive into active, standing by the side of Lu Yunyan. Lu Yunyan never imagined that he would walk up to him so openly. She didn't expect that Shen Yi would start with a tone that completely overwhelmed her. No. You are still the same as before. What? When you have a hard mouth, you just cross your feet. Ten years ago, it was like this, and now it's the same. In the next second of the year of Lu Lu, he will flatten his crossed legs. These small details have never been paid attention to in the past years of land flow. She never imagined that someone would know her so well. At that moment, Lu Yunyan also began to doubt. Does that mean that Shen Yi has already started to conquer himself? You. Actually, you can be jealous because you are already the person in my heart. When Shen Yi said this sentence, his mouth was very close to Lu Yunyan's ear, and even a hint of heat blew into Lu Yunyan's ear. Shen Yi has a magical ability to speak with a hint of frivolity, making it incredibly serious. At that moment, Lu Yunyan's body temperature began to rise rapidly. She seemed to be devoured by the heat, and Lu Yunyan's face began to blush slightly. That was something that had never happened before in the past with a hint of shy peach color. Even at that second, Lu Yunyan was still a bit nervous. You don't need to have any burden. Hmm. 
When a man likes a woman, it's just that. You just need to accept my goodness or change your standards, don't reject my goodness all at once. This is the first time that Lu Yonian has been so clear, and Shen Yi said he likes these two words. Shen Yi seems to never restrain any emotions, at least in liking this one thing. He is simple and straightforward, hitting straight balls with great precision. Although Lu Yonian has passed, it is clear that Shen Yi likes him. But that kind of liking, without saying it out loud, seems to be a bit more hidden. Just now, Lu Yonian heard Shen Yi say it. It's like taking off half of this last veil. This left Lu Yonian unsure how to face it. She wants to escape, but also wants to stimulate herself. This itself is an extremely contradictory thing. And this contradiction also prompted Lu Yonian's earlobe to turn into a seemingly blood-stained red. Shen Yi looked at Lu Yonian with a slight hint of camel red on his cheeks. He only felt that he would eventually stand beside Lu Yonian in a very formal capacity, watching her step by step towards the future. Lu Yonian looked at Shen Yi's clear and loving eyes. It seems that he has never changed from beginning to end. Lu Yonian's mood is somewhat complicated. She even felt that perhaps one day in the future, she would really accept it. Just, not now. Lu Yonian felt his heart beating a bit too fast. It seemed like the next second was about to suffocate with a hint of suppressed stimulation. Shen Yi seems to be able to read all her thoughts. In the next second, he was also a little further away from Lu Yonian, giving her some space to maintain a safe distance. He has a clear understanding of Lu Yonian's personality. If the pressure is too tight and too urgent, the little green plum named Lu Yonian will be released. Shen Yi wanted to firmly capture Lu Yonian's heart. This is something he has been wanting to do ever since. And when Shen Yi saw Lu Yonian's behavior in the next second, he already knew that he had already succeeded halfway. Cough cough cough, Mr. Lu naturally noticed the interaction between the two of them. And he naturally has some understanding of Shen Yi, this little boy. But even if he knew better, he wouldn't allow them to play this little riddle with adolescents under their noses. Lu's father even began to consider that perhaps his influence in Shanghai in the past was slightly weaker. This makes others think that his Lu family is easy to bully, which is why he shows disrespect to Lu Yunyan. Lu Yunyan looked at Shen Yi's familiar face as if nothing had changed. But it seems like everything has changed. Whenever Lu Yunyan thought of Shen Yi's approach just now, there was an inexplicable palpitations. His unique scent deeply attracted her. Until Lu Yunyan heard his father cough with a hint of warning. She suddenly realized that in this public setting, such a magical interaction between two people was probably not appropriate. Song Yixuan was there, watching the intimate contact between these two people as if they were alone. He is on the verge of going crazy with jealousy. After all, even if he stands by her side as Lu Yunyan's boyfriend, the intimate contact with Lu Yunyan is rare. In the past, Song Yixuan always believed that Lu Yunyan, woman, was not very receptive to intimate contact with others. Or perhaps it's because she takes too long to accept someone. So Song Yixuan and others, he longed to get this woman, but never did. But he had an intuition in his heart that if Shen Yi said yes, Lu Yunyan would be willing. Although Song Yixuan knew that this seemed to be his unfounded idea. But these ideas are indeed driving a person who gains and loses again crazy. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Lu Yunyan plays at the shopping mall and records of Xie Miao Miao. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 9 Lu Yunyan plays at the shopping mall and records of Xie Miao Miao the next day, MC Mall. Lu Yunyan also thought that as the face of the Lu family, she now needs to purchase some clothes that match her status. And she has always been an activist, coupled with the fact that the Lu group has not had much to deal with recently. So Lu Yunyan drove directly to the MC shopping mall. Just as she walked into the high dot end clothing area, she saw Xie Miao Miao walking past her. Lu Yunyan frowned. She is not a woman who enjoys trouble. 
Lu Liyonian is not without aggression, it's just that she doesn't want to face others with aggression. After all, attacking someone can have a significant impact on one's own mood. So Lu Liyonian didn't want to get involved, as long as Xie Miao Miao didn't take the initiative to provoke him. Then she can also pretend that nothing has happened. Xie Miao Miao originally planned to come and take a stroll. For her, this is a basic entertainment activity. It's just that Xie Miao Miao never thought, coincidentally, that she saw Lu Yunyan here. Oh, I didn't expect Miss Lu to come and visit our small civilian area too. Xie Miao Miao finally met Lu Yunyan. She naturally didn't miss this sarcastic opportunity. And other people who were also shopping nearby heard the tone and content of Xie Miao Miao's speech. I knew that the young lady of the Xie family was going to mock people, which was a very common thing for Xie Miao Miao. And such a thing, in the upper class circle where contradictions are not torn apart, is also a rare and good play. So they also began to stop eagerly and watch the battle peacefully not far away. And this area is the most famous high dot end clothing area in Shanghai. Xie Miao Miao said that this area is a civilian area. That's really lying with your eyes open. Miss Xie, are you bullying me? I just arrived in this city. I am not completely unfamiliar with this place either. Xie Miao Miao just turned his head slightly and let out a cold snort. Lu Yunyan didn't speak again. Talking to such people is useless. Lu Yunyan just walked straight towards a store. She began to choose what she needed. Lu Yunyan has always been a person with a strong sense of purpose. She came with the goal to be achieved, so naturally she had to complete it all first. Xie Miao Miao saw that Lu Yunyan ignored him so much. She was even more unhappy inside. So Xie Miao Miao followed closely behind and walked in. Although she had already bought everything she needed. Hello, could you help me wrap all these items? Lu Yunyan has never been an indecisive person. And when she found what she wanted, she made a decisive choice. This is also the way Lu Yunyan has always acted. And Lu Yunyan originally intended to handle these things with great speed, and then just take a stroll to end it. I'll take all of these things. Xie Miao Miao seemed to speak with some pride. The Xie family itself provided Xie Miao Miao with relatively abundant pocket money. So buying these is not a big problem for her. And what Xie Miao Miao wants is that Lu Yunyan is unhappy in his heart. Lu Yunyan frowned slightly. Xie Miao Miao's actions today are probably childish campus bullying, like high school girls secretly poking and poking. Lu Yunyan never cared about these things. Just if it really affects her. That Lu Yunyan naturally won't let it go. But now, she doesn't want to have a direct confrontation with Xie Miao Miao. Although Lu Yunyan still feels a bit uncomfortable in his heart. But on the surface, he didn't show any signs, just ignored Xie Miao Miao like air and walked away with his feet up. What, are you afraid of Lu Yunyan? Why do you just lift your foot and leave? Aren't you afraid to compete with me like this? Lu Yunyan doesn't want to say anything to this naive and foolish woman. Miss Xie, haven't you settled this account yet? What's the rush, swipe your card? Xie Miao Miao was still very unhappy in his heart. But if she just released it, she couldn't help but count it. So Xie Miao Miao had to take out the card. She looked at the salesperson's stroke on the card. Xie Miao Miao also has a slight pain in his flesh. She pressed down the next second. Just Xie Miao Miao secretly poked and followed the Yunyan on the road. Lu Yunyan went to another store this time. The style of this store doesn't quite match her needs. But she looked at Xie Miao Miao not far behind, and decided to give her some small lessons, otherwise this woman wouldn't have stopped. So Lu Yunyan watched Xie Miao Miao walk as far as he could hear, and then said to the salesperson, except for this one, this one, this one, wrap everything else for me. When choosing the year of Lu Lu, he is also very casual and capricious. She knew that the person who ultimately bought this garment would not be herself. So there's not so much to care about. 
Xie Miao Miao watched as Lu Yunyan waved his hand and was about to buy satisfactory clothes. Xie Miao Miao is even more unbalanced. She also wants to do these actions like before. But as Xie Miao Miao looked at so many clothes, she already knew a little about the prices in these stores. With so many clothes, I'm afraid it's impossible to easily buy Xie Miao Miao's card even if it's maxed out. Why, does Miss Xie like these clothes? Why don't I buy them for you? It seems that Miss Xie is not very good, she can't even afford clothes. Xie Miao Miao gave a slight glare. At that moment, it seemed like the most sensitive part of her heart was being struck. Xie Miao Miao's face turned red, and her angry eyes widened as if Lu Yunyan was her lifelong enemy. Why can't I afford it? Swipe my card. Xie Miao Miao himself is a woman with an impatient and impulsive temperament. So, with Lu Yunyan's clumsy tactics, she was very conscious and jumped in. For Xie Miao Miao, many people in the past circle were giving her some meager noodles for the sake of the Xie family. But from the bottom of my heart, I don't even look up to her. It's just that time has been too long, so long that Xie Miao Miao has become accustomed to being let go and has also become accustomed to standing at a high place and staring at others. Lu Yunyan suddenly stood on top of her, possessing something she had never possessed before. So Xie Miao Miao also wants to surpass her in every way. Lu Yunyan originally thought that the people cultivated by this big family still had some intelligence. Just as she looked at Xie Miao Miao, she still looked up at the woman in front of her. Lu Yunyan also smiled faintly and walked out. Xie Miao Miao naturally saw the faint smile on the corner of Lu Yunyan's mouth. She only felt that the words were full of mockery. Otherwise, how could they face her in such a posture? Xie Miao Miao felt even more anxious and frustrated. And the next second, she remembered. Did Lu Yunyan just choose so few clothes? Why did you suddenly choose so many clothes now? This is clearly the pit dug for her. After Xie Miao Miao understood, he didn't want to pay and wanted to go out directly. Miss Xie, you haven't paid this money yet. That's what you said just now. The sales personnel in this area are not fools either. And every time Miss Xia arrives, she is always arrogant, but she buys very little. And just now, Xie Miao Miao also wanted to give the young lady some color, deliberately slapping her face and pretending to be fat, but he didn't expect it to be her who stumbled. This kind of rude but domineering customer is really amazing. And no one will struggle with performance, so he also pretended to be kind and reminded. Xie Miao Miao looked at the salesperson who was very appropriate with a faint smile. Although 10,000 CNMs flashed through her mind, she could only swallow this mute loss. If she doesn't do this today, then in the future, she shouldn't mix up in this socialite circle. And this place, the news spreads the fastest. It seems that this is a loss. Xie Miao Miao has to eat it today, and if she doesn't eat it, she has to eat it. She looked at the increasingly thin balance on the card. Xie Miao Miao feels like he's going to eat dirt again this month. Although she was deeply distressed. But she persisted on her face, ignoring her twisted expression. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 The Scumbag and Scumbag League You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 The Scumbag and Scumbag League Lu Yunyan is about to leave the mall. She saw Xie Miao Miao walk up angrily. Lu Yunyan's lips curled slightly, it seemed that this foolish woman was not so foolish. Xie Miao Miao has also figured it out. Just Lu Yunyan doesn't know, is this woman really trying to save face? Are you still asking for money? Lu Yunyan, let's wait and see between you and me. Xie Miao Miao almost gritted his teeth and said these words. She really had to eat this, and it was her own fault. Okay, wait and see, Miss Xie. Lu Yunyan still spoke calmly. This is in stark contrast to Xie Miao Miao's angry and despondent appearance. Xie Miao Miao felt like he was about to lose control of his emotions in the next second. She wished she could rush forward immediately and kill the woman in front of her, 
who was full of laughter and conversation. At that moment, Song Yixuan walked forward and pretended to be a hero saving the beauty, pulling Xie Miao Miao. He even wanted to tidy up his hair, like a peacock about to open its screen. What are you doing, Xie Miao Miao? Are you crazy? Song Yixuan, what does this have to do with you? What does this have to do with your Song family? Xie Miao Miao has never been easy to deal with. She has always been known in the industry for her bad temper and inability to read people's faces. Moreover, Song Yixuan is just an ordinary wealthy family, not a top-tier one. So Xie Miao Miao had no intention of giving him any face. Year after year, you go first. Lu Liyonian remained silent. She just didn't take any further action. Many men and women shopping nearby also know what happened at the banquet that day. They are also very curious about the emerging heir of the Lu family. So it's also scattered around, big and small, with ears stretched out, intending to hear something. Xie Miao Miao is not a fool by nature. It's just that she has been losing her basic judgment by Lu Yunyan's anger before. So she could also hear a hint of intimacy in Song Yixuan's words at this moment. And does this also indicate that this woman is seducing countless men? Xie Miao Miao seems to have discovered some incredible secrets. She calmed down, and her originally angry expression dissipated quite a bit. Song Yixuan, my affairs don't need your attention, do you understand? It's already over, do you understand? Lu Liyonian looked at the man in front of him who pretended to be a hero and came to help him. She only feels nauseating. Whenever Lu Liyonian sees Song Yixuan, she always remembers the tumultuous scenes she saw in the presidential suite that day. She has never been a person with a strong obsession with cleanliness. But she never really likes dirty things. Song Yixuan clearly saw the disgust in Lu Liyonian's eyes. He doesn't understand, he just did one wrong thing. Being discovered only once is like being sentenced to death forever. It seems that there is no room for any reversal in all of this. In Lu Liyonian's eyes, it seemed like he was no longer there. Although Song Yixuan used to have a feeling in his heart that Lu Liyonian didn't love him. But he knew that Lu Liyonian always cared about himself. And Song Yixuan originally thought that he would also play some of it privately, which was normal for him to be indifferent to Lu Liyonian. But now, it seems clear to him that he has indeed lost the year of Lu Liyonian. The feeling of powerlessness in his heart at that moment seemed to erode him. He was momentarily taken aback, then stopped talking and walked in a lost and disoriented direction. Xie Miao Miao usually doesn't know much about family affairs. But for romance novels, I read them extensively. So she was also determined in her heart that there might at least be a romantic relationship between these two people. Then we'll have to see if Shani knows. If you don't know, Xie Miao Miao doesn't mind being the whistleblower. So she also followed behind Song Yixuan and walked over. Song Yixuan, wait a moment. What are you doing? To be honest with me, do you have anything to do with Lu Liyonian? What does this have to do with you? Song Yixuan had no favorable impression of Xie Miao Miao as a woman. After all, who would have a favorable impression of a woman who is arrogant, domineering, unreasonable, and very dull in her actions? Even if Song Yixuan is ignorant, he is clear about the potential evaluation of this woman in this circle. But Xie Miao Miao's following now is mostly ill-intentioned. I know, you want to restore your original relationship with Lu Liyonian, right? Xie Miao Miao now has a bit more patience. After all, this useless man may be able to help himself deal with the woman he hates the most. Song Yixuan also didn't expect that the woman in front of him became gentle, but still had a somewhat feminine appearance. So he also nodded slightly. After all, this past event has indeed left the mute speechless, unable to express their grievances. Song Yixuan never said anything to anyone, it just seemed like he suddenly found a way to vent his anger. I just broke up with Lu Liyonian a while ago, and we didn't have much time at all. Song Yixuan also said these words in a perfunctory manner. 
After all, if cheating can be described as a flower, then this person's face is really thick. So Song Yixuan won't let Xie Miao Miao know. Xie Miao Miao is not someone who doesn't read the news. The romantic affair between the man in front of me and the third-tier film model in the past has made headlines in the gossip newspaper for a while. It seems that this land flow year has been turned green. Or is it because of such a man? At that time, Xie Miao Miao told his sisters that the affair between Song Yixuan and Qin Yuyu was a joke in the circle. Although she looked down upon the man in front of her very much, it would be great if he could help Xie Miao Miao solve the troublesome woman Lu Liunyan together. And precisely because the man in front of him was not a good person, Xie Miao Miao hoped even more that Lu Liunyan would lock him up. Do you want to have her again? Of course I do. Do you have any good methods? At this moment, Song Yixuan is also a dead horse and a living horse doctor, casually taking on this task. The woman in front of me may no longer have the ability, but she is full of bad water. That has dealt with countless women in the industry, especially those who like Shen Yi. Moreover, Song Yixuan refused to admit that Shen Yi and Lu Yunyan were also a much better match. If Song Yixuan wants to solve these things alone, there is really nothing he can do for a while. Okay, let's work together. You want Lu Yunyan, and I want Shen Yi. The two of us should huddle together and help each other. Xie Miao Miao said as little as possible about what he needed and as much as possible about the help he could provide. She pretended to speak these words sincerely. Song Yixuan looked at this woman, although hypocritical, but his words were not cowardly. He is well aware of all of this in his heart. But Song Yixuan also knew that the woman in front of him was not a good person who would help him. But if we can achieve mutual benefit and win dot win, it's not impossible. So he nodded lightly. And Song Yixuan looked at the hatred and malice shining in the woman's eyes before him. He only felt that after this collaboration, the relationship must be kept clean. Otherwise, even if the Lu family doesn't do anything, then the Shen family is definitely not a soft persimmon. Xie Miao Miao was originally feeling a bit disappointed because all his pocket money for this month was used to gamble, but he still had a disadvantage. But now she feels incredibly happy because she has already caught the handle of Lu Yunyan. End of this chapter